Hi friends, this is the Nero Research and today I will continue trading bot tutorial. This video will be more practical. I will show you how to set up the development environment and briefly will go through tools that will be used in the development process. I prefer development in an isolated environment because I can use many tools like different versions and types of databases, web servers, application servers, programming languages, IDEs and so on. And this can create a mess on my work workstation. That is why I want to download VirtualBox. Depending on your host operating system, you need one of these versions of VirtualBox. I need a version for OS X and as a guest operating system inside the virtual machine. I like to have Ubuntu. It has already useful development tools built in inside the image. So let's download desktop edition. And hit download button. Once you have installed VirtualBox, it's time to create a virtual machine that we will use as a development environment. Let's click new. Let's call it dev and it will be Linux Ubuntu 64 bit. Hit continue, give some extra memory, gets 4 gigs would be enough. Show disk, new, dynamically allocated, and let's make it 20 gigs size. Great! Our virtual machine is created and time to start it. The virtual machine is starting and I have already mounted the image of Ubuntu. So we can start the installation process right now. Okay, we will make a full installation, so let's click install Ubuntu. Okay, we will update Ubuntu later. Also, we'll skip this option too. Okay. Continue. Installation process of Ubuntu is very simple and straightforward. So, select your time zone. Okay, let's use English. Here you need to create a username you will use. Okay, let's call it also dev and give him some password. Hit continue. And here it is. Installation process is already started, so I will pause the video and will continue once installation is completed. Finally, Ubuntu is installed and it's time to upgrade and update it. I will open a terminal. And firstly I need to up update the list of repositories. I can do this with following command sudo it means that the next command will be performed on behalf of administrator or root. apt get it's actually a package manager for Ubuntu and update. Hit enter. Enter password for dev and we are updating list of repositories. The next command will upgrade our system. So it's almost the same, but instead of up update, we'll type upgrade. Yes. Upgrade takes some time, so I will pause video again and we'll continue once it's complete. Well, Linux is now upgraded and it's time to install development tools. We'll start with programming languages. As I said, we'll use 
two programming languages, Python for dataset preparations and uh, data analysis, and JavaScript, specifically Node.js, for board building. Python is already installed in a Linux image and let's make sure that it works. Let's type common Python if we need Python version 2 or Python 3 if we need Python version 3 and hit enter. We have entered into Python version 3.5.2 interpreter. Let's make some code. Let's call print, open parentheses, quotes and type hello world. And close parentheses. Common print will type the following text into the terminal. Yes, it actually works and we can exit from it and install Node.js. If you do not know what is Node.js, you can visit Node.js.org and read their documentation. In general, it is a JavaScript runtime environment and I like it because it is fast. You can install Node.js directly from the website, so you can get 64 or 32 bits binaries, but we will install it through command line interface. Below you can find the guide how to install Node.js through package manager. Because we run Ubuntu, click here, and let's simply copy and paste these commands into terminal. We will install Node.js version 8. Ok, we have error, curl is not installed yet, so let us install curl. We will do it sudo apt get install curl. Good, now we can run this command again. Great, we had no error, so we can run installer for Node.js and paste. Ok, Node.js is installed, so let's check its version, minus V, yes, it's version 8.5.0, which is the most recent one, so let's check how it works. Currently we are in directory home dev. Let's create directory for our projects with mkdir command and call projects and cd in that directory. Let's create a random file with command touch and call this file fgs and we'll edit this file with vi editor. Ok, let's run simple code, like in Python example. Hello world. and close the brackets. Ok, let's check our file. Yes, we have one row, hello world, and let's execute it. Node app.js. Great, we received output hello world, so that means that Node.js is working ok. VI editor is very old school stuff, so I want to install something that is more user friendly, like sub Sublime Text Editor. Let's download it. It has a trial version that we will use in our tutorial. Go to Linux repos and find guide for Ubuntu. Let's also copy paste these commands. Get stable version. And 
it will update list of repositories. Good list of repositories updated. And we can install Sublime Text. Okay, Sublime is installed and we can find it in the terminal. Here it is. So I'll create a shortcut and we can open And in future we'll work with Sublime Text. And the last but not least tool that I will use in my tutorial is Trello. Trello is awesome project management tool for agile development. I have created several boards. Epics I used for large user stories like integration with Exchange, Analytics and so on. Then I will take one Epic and will crunch it into smaller tasks that I will put in to-do list. Then some tasks will be put into in progress. If task is completed, we'll move it in testing mode. If tests are OK, we'll move it in done mode. Trello allows you to track progress and performance if you need, of course, and makes easier transition from a simple project to the more complex one. This is all for today. In the next video, we'll prepare data sets for the backtesting. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos, and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!